In life, we have moments of time to prove who we are in the house of the Lord. When you prove who you are in the house of the Lord, you better know who God is today. God is a vengeful, angry Lord. The reason we have COVID is because police officers have violated God's plans for many people. Few people seem to remember how Jesus died today. Jesus died today is how he died when he died. You see, when Jesus died, there were police officers there skewering him in the back, whipping him, beating him, doing everything they could to get rid of love in the world. What we have today are young people coming in from foreign countries with no intention to leave. They come in at the aid and help of universities. And those universities, many of them, do not take action to ensure that their international students go back home where they're supposed to take their foreign earned degrees to improve their poverty in their nation, to improve their health care systems, to improve every part of administration and business that they allegedly come to America to study. The truth is today that most of the third world country is now almost superior to American uh, college education. We know this by how well those students know our land. And yet, as a man who is in his 50s, I can tell you we didn't study much about them growing up because we never felt them to be a threat. But that was a generation ago, and that possibly is a generation lost. That the arrogance of whites, the stupidity of blacks, and the impossibleness of the Asian community is a fact today. What I mean by these ridiculous kind of terminology is we have whites that don't believe that anyone could possibly topple America. We have blacks that are arrogantly being ethnocentric about their culture, walking up to total strangers and saying, do you need money? Well, yes, many people need income. Many people need revenue. But to walk up and offer that to a total stranger, you have to say, why are you offering this? What is it for? What am I allowing you to do when you provide me that dollar? Or is Jesus really in you saying, I'm concerned about what you have to eat. So I'd like to offer you this cash with no strings attached so that you can be included in the world to eat today, to shop today, to pay for bills today. That's how I'd like to be remembered by you. And I'd like you to remember my ethnic group that way too. You see, there are other people from foreign lands who are getting accolades on one side because we have to. A civil war is something we are facing. It is the reason we've seen films coming out of Hollywood preparing us for the truths of the Department of Police. We have Batman to thank for a great deal of that. We have Stan Lee who really understood that. He's been giving us that premonition. He's been giving us the folly of them for a near, what, century? Ten years? I don't know how long to say it in any type of timeline. But the truth is, we know that. We know there are corrupt men in the police force. We know there are corrupted women who think they have power and control over people from the police force. Because usually it doesn't take much to get that sort of situation. Long ago, I believe they had to have a college degree in criminal justice. Today, I don't believe that's required anymore because of how hard it is to bring someone into the police force to ask them to carry a gun, which is lethal, and to do their job to go after the predators, the men and the women from foreign countries that come here to lie here, to steal here, to stay here, to abuse here, to murder here, and to ruin American culture. When I talk about these things, I'm talking about it from a reporter's perspective, a homeless man's perspective, someone who was hit by cybercrime. Being hit by cybercrime can start within your own families. Your own families can lie, steal, and cheat you out of your life. Your own biological bloodlines can do these things, and you can walk away from them, you can run away from them, you can flee from them, but they feel an arrogance of power that if they're an older sibling or if they're an extended relative, that they have some right to topple your life. Every time I turn around, I see that someone is monitoring, manipulating my online social media accounts. They're destroying my videos that God has written through me, and they are interfering with who I am following and what I am seeing on Twitter, you see. You see, how I can tell is that I'm not interested in communities that I came from any longer. But what it tells me is that someone either doesn't know that they're doing it, and they have my information on their cell phone as a backup account, or they've actually produced a cell phone by stealing my phone or creating another one and putting my stuff on that phone. 
You see, I had a sibling once that offered me a cell phone. It was a ridiculous flip phone. But you know what she never did? She never provided a card that offered an actual telephone. That was her way of helping and not helping. You see, she'd like me to fail. So she has spent a good percentage of my mother's money, which is not her money, which is her responsibility to financially help manage and make sure that my mom can do the things she needs to do or my late mother can do things she once did without interfering with her emotions and things. I have siblings that are talking like the uh, image of Lord of the Rings where there's a Slytherin-oriented person who's speaking evil and ill will into a king. You see, we can talk truth based on film. We can give example based on cultural um, magnificent opportunities that many people know. But when a black community attacks a white man, it's still a racist situation. It might be a Black Panther situation. It might be a Black Lives Matter situation. You see, all lives matter to God. And when you don't remember that as you conduct your life, when you arrogantly walk through life saying, I'm going to do what the hell I want to, and I'm going to ignore the concept of free will. You see, free will is gifted to us by God so that we would choose Him over any other. But when people don't choose God at all, when they marry the wrong man, when they don't do the right thing with their boy children, we treat and we create more bastards in this land. And a bastard child interferes with his uncle's life. A bastard child tried to lord his physical size over someone smaller than him. A bastard child watches as his father lies, steals, and cheats property from somebody in extended family. A bastard child will steal a cell phone when an old man is sleeping through narcolepsy. A bastard child of any race abuses someone's face. The Arabs have come here to lay here, to stay here, to play here, and isn't it fascinating how they attach themselves to our socially inept kids? I have seen this totally and fully and observed this regularly on the campus of which I'm on. I have seen Asians doing this regularly with people with special needs, and it's not like they don't have a heart for folks, but my question is, what is their plan? Why are they doing that? And how can parents protect their children who have those conditions from people like that? In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and I had a son that had different difficulties when he came here and when he stayed here and when he did things here. And my son was often taken advantage of by other people, particularly Spanish or Mexican people. They played with him, they pretended to be his friend, and then they got him to do immoral and illegal things. I have since run into one of the boys that got my son in trouble at a Panera long ago. And I believe the child remembered who I was, but I didn't remember at first who he was until I got his name was Joe. You see, someone like a Joe can harm a person. Life. When they don't think about where their life begins and ends with the choices they make. It's not that working at one of those companies in retail and restaurants is wrong. It's just that we have people that don't give a shit about anyone else's money working in them. We have people that don't care about anyone else's health conditions working in them. Every time I get water from a particular gas station, I literally get the runs and take a shit. I can be as guttural as I want to be. I can be as vague as I want to be. I can be as vile as I want to be because vanity is like that. But there is a situation of vice with vanity and violence. A woman who conditions her face with plastic surgery and other things has some right to do it. And yet a person with a birth defect is apparently not allowed to do it by their sibling set. They have lied to themselves about who God is in their life and in others. And when I talk about this with truth, my siblings will eventually die, probably, of COVID. You see, the Lord picks and chooses who has COVID, but people are foolish about how that works. First and foremost, the government is collecting your markers so that possibly Trump had wanted to create an Aryan nation, an Aryan race of the best and the best of gene pools. So when they do these things, what are they really extracting once they're inserting that in you is a good question. At the same time, much like the flu shot, they're actually giving you the strand. So that means you're accepting into your body an illness and asking your own cellular health that may or may not be conditioned and may or may not be prepared to fight it off to get ill. How foolish is that? In life, we have the truth of our rights. My rights for my privacy of every part of my body, paperwork, and property belong to me. Yet there are ugly people in a family that feel because they help to pay a bill, they have access to a contract that doesn't include them still. 
in life we have moments of time to speak the truth on police and I have had so many bad experiences with those bastard officers across several states that I want nothing at all to do with them. I want them defunded immediately and I want our National Guard to be put in place but only if those people have actually had quality training. What is the point of the National Guard and why do we have police? You see, a failure of a presidency, a failure of a community, a failure of an online system is when people do not tell people what the rules, roles, and responsibilities are of different positions that serve our community. You see, the whole concept of police is supposed to be to serve and protect. Well, that means service without discrimination and protection that rules the nation, not at all, that protects the nations from the illegal citizens that are here to lie, steal, and cheat.